Hello everyone, uh, Sean Miller, Hipster Viz Ninja, coming at you with another Workout Wednesday WoW 2020 work, uh, walkthrough uh, for week eight. Uh, this is how to uh, create a concatenated list of values uh, for a given data set. So as I mentioned in the um, kind of introduction to the challenge, uh, I work in healthcare uh, and this is a very common uh, request that I get sometimes um, in my work is, you know, I, I just need a work list, right? I just, who are my people uh, that I need to go work on, work with, and how can I, I just need a report. And in many cases, Tableau is going to be their only software to use. So this is what I'm tasked with. Uh, so if we just go look at the data, the way that this is structured is we have one row per person per health check that they need to have completed. And so you can see that, um, you know, there's lots of different ones uh, that, they, that they'll need to have completed. So if I were to just build this as a normal cross tab, uh, this second row right here uh, for Jameson uh, would actually have three rows uh, and that's just not a they don't they don't need that they just want to have one row per person and have everything kind of concatenated together uh, so the way that I did this and I, I've seen some really really um, innovative different ways of, of solving this uh, this week through all of the um, through all the submissions, which is really cool. So uh, happy to see those. Um, and uh, thanks for sharing that uh, with us. But uh, I'm going to show you how I built mine. So it's really just based on this, uh, this one field. What I'm doing in this calculation, I'm searching within each row of this previous value, uh, which is my delimiter, which is my comma, my empty text, and another comma. Uh, to see if the uh, unique value, which again is a delimiter plus the health check name uh, plus another delimiter, if those if that is contained, then I'm going to just return a that's what this else is. It's returning in a blank text field. Uh, otherwise, what we're going to do is we're going to have empty text plus a comma, plus the health check name. Um, so I know this is confusing uh, to kind of kind of work through, but essentially what's gonna happen, uh, because I've set my uh, table calculation to be uh, partitioning uh, for every um, member ID, which is unique, my unique member ID and health check name, uh, it's going to, basically go through all those rows and it's going to look for that and it's basically going to concatenate all them together. So if I take off my last calculation right here, it will begin to make a little bit more sense. Okay, so if I uh, were to expand these rows a little bit, you can see here, so let's look at this, right? So we've got, so remember, Jameson had three missing values and if I don't have my last calculation on there, what's happening is the first row is adult BMI assessment. The next row down is, a bolt, is, adult, is the annual flu vaccine. And my measures not missed previous calculation is going to uh, concatenate the, very, the previous health check name to, uh, that, to that row. So that's why we get... In the second one, we get at, we're actually getting three marks here uh, within this cell. Uh, so we have the first. This is the first row of the partition. This is the second row of the partition, and then finally, this is the third row of the partition. So by creating this previous value calculation, um, we're able to basically look at each row of a partition and concatenate on the last previous value. So 
again, we've got three marks, or we have the, the total number of marks equals the total number, uh, which is not what we want. Uh, so we just create a very simple last calculation. Um, you could do this any number of ways. Uh, index equals size um, is, the, is another way that I've seen this done. Uh, and so what you can do is just do last uh, open close paren uh, equals zero. That creates a Boolean calculation, uh, and then I always in when I'm creating calculate when I'm creating this dashboard, uh, creating calculations like this, that I know what I want my t partitions to go into uh, in my addressing. I always do this. I always set this default calculation, uh, this default table calculation definitions. Uh, so you can go in here within the calculated field window, and you can actually set up. So I want to I want to have this table calculation be addressing the member the unique member ID and the health check name, uh, and then at the level of the deepest, which is the health check name, and then I wanted to restart. I wanted to restart doing that previous calculation for every unique member ID. So when I get when I get to the end of Jameson's rows and I get ready to go to Kelvin's rows, I want my previous calculation to start all over again. So that's what we're basically telling Tableau to do here. So once I have that, uh, and just to again reiterate the number of uh, how this is actually uh, working right now, uh, as you can see, I only have 672 rows. Uh, but as you can see, the number of marks is 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 very high, uh, twenty almost 2,600 marks, um, but only 672 rows. So a little bit over a factor of four for every row in my data is 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 exploding, is ballooning out uh, to a factor of four on average. So um, this is why doing this calculation and doing the putting the last on top uh, helps. Uh, the number of rows that are returned. So I'll just bring this last calculation equal to zero, bring it up into my filters here, wait for my list, and then I'll select true. And because I've already set up my table calculation, uh, addressing partitioning and restarting within the calculated field, I know that exactly what ends up um, after uh, dropping this onto filters, I know exactly what's going to be left over. Okay, so that helps me get to uh, all of, that helps me get to the concatenated list. The last two th requirements that I asked that needed to be done uh, were to be able to filter uh, by a minimum number of missing and also to create a list where users can select any one of the health check measures every single person who has not met that measure, as well as all of the other measures that they also have not met. Um, and again, my use case for this is the person who would be using this report is gonna be somebody who would be uh, you know, a, in the scheduling department and their, their goal is to uh, schedule people in for uh, appointments uh, to knock out um, as many of these together. So. Hey, I noticed you didn't. You haven't had your annual flu vaccine. Uh, why don't you come on in, and uh, we can also give you a uh, your BMI assessment as well at the same time. Easy peasy. You be out in 30 minutes. That kind of thing. Uh, so they're going to be the ones that are kind of in charge of all that. So, all right. So the way to do that, really, really simple uh, to get the minimum number. Uh, I just did a, again. I just did a size. Lots of table calcs in this challenge. Uh, size is basically the what is the number of rows within a partition and again I set up my partition I set up my table calc exactly the same way that I did my last uh, all of my table calculations thankfully are set up in the exact same way um, and so what you get now if I uh, close this and I show my filter here what you're going to see is you're going to see um, a, a minimum number of health checks that have not been completed yet. And so you can just use the slider or type in the number that you want. All right, so the last thing is uh, we need to create this, uh, the filter uh, for the health check name. So I use this as a parameter. Um, and so I just, you know, right clicked on health check name, created my parameter, 
uh, and just put all those in there. And then I had it, I had this all, which somebody called me out, and they're and they were they were excellent in doing so. So we'll just go ahead and change it while I'm here. All should actually be any. I don't have to change anything within my calculation uh, because I already set my calculation up uh, to be uh, for the value in the calculation to be all. But my display as, which is really similar to an alias, uh, can be whatever we want. Uh, so I'll just move that to the top as well, and I'll set my current value uh, at adult BMI uh, assessment, which is just fine. So the way to get this to work is now we need to create another Boolean calculation, and it's a very simple uh, contains argument where we're either saying, does my parameter value equal all, or does my parameter value, is my parameter value contained within the measures not met recursive looping previous uh, value calculation that we've created. That will return true or false. We can just go back to the dashboard. Okay, so now we can just test that this uh, parameter filter is working by coming up here and we can uh, select breast cancer screening and what's going to return should hopefully be all females. And uh, those who have not had a breast cancer screening, as well as all of the other quality measures that they have not met. And again, I know that there was a there was a lot of conversation this week on Twitter about the performance uh, of this, um, and it it is a uh, doing all these table calculations is a uh, is certainly a performance hit. I've seen some quicker. Uh, solutions we using LODs, uh, which is which is a nice little solution. The reason that we chose uh, the reason that I chose this chose to do it with table calculations uh, is because, as you can see here, uh, every single one is uh, within the text box here. If you, when I was doing some testing on the LOD versus uh, table calc, um, I ran into issues with uh, getting ellipses. Using the LOD approach, I wouldn't get this text wrapping as much. Uh, and then what would end up happening is I would get the ellipsis. Uh, and so I didn't want that. I wanted to have all of the values, all of the characters show. So that is how I created a concatenated list of values. Uh, I hope you got something out of it. I uh, have uh, enjoyed seeing all of the discussion and all of the different solutions on Twitter this week. Um, so well done if you uh, if you completed it, uh, and if you didn't, and we're waiting for this video. Uh, hopefully now you have a better idea of how to go about it. Thank you so much for watching, and go forth and viz.